Hi. Well, this is the Samsung S22 Ultra. It's one of their latest phones. And it replaced my Samsung Note 8, which actually I was totally fine with. Um, there are a few reasons I want. I, I replaced it. Not worth going into. This isn't sponsored by Samsung. I don't know anybody at Samsung. <laughs> anyway, um, I got the phone. And one of the reasons I got it is for the director's view, which is a video that allows you to shoot something with the main camera and then take your selfie camera and put it in like a little box, you know, in the corner of the screen. And I wanted this because many times I'll do videos of like a building somewhere and I'll be like, why are they building this? <laughs> so for my rant videos, I thought it'd be nice and just other things. So that's one of the reasons why I bought the camera. But I didn't realize that it had even this killer feature that not only could you shoot in director's mode and have just your little selfie face in the corner, you could actually have it shoot both cameras at the same time. In other words, a totally separate video for everything the camera sees in front of it and a separate full 16 by 9 video of what it's seeing behind it, which is the selfie view. Okay, so um, it, it has that. It's pretty cool. And while I'm sort of doing my videos, one of the cameras I've really been in love with is this uh, Insta360. So what I love about the Insta360 is I can put it between me, and I've done a bunch of videos on with Craig on uh, Does It Matter, where I just put the camera between us when we would talk, and then in the Insta360 software, it's easy to, to basically go behind, you know, cut each frame, and just make a video that looks like you have two or three cameras. And it's been great, and I've loved it. And uh, unfortunately, the camera keeps shutting off, and I just can't tell when. It might be like five minutes, seven minutes, it overheats, and it shuts off, and it blames the memory card. <laughs> Which is funny. Anyway, I've researched it, and the later cameras have the same problem. This is the X2, but the X3 and the one inch, which is the one I'd really want. I imagine they don't cut off quietly as, as quickly, but they still cut off. And I just don't like that risk of doing an interview and them cutting off and having to restart it. So it soured me on the Insta360, even though I still love it and I'll still use it. But I'm not going to use it for interviews because you just can't trust the camera. I'm going to cut off in the middle of it. All right. So having that problem, I thought, well, I'm going to go revisit this thing and see how well it works using the two cameras, the director's view and this uh, in the Samsung S22. And uh, as I'm going to, probably going to title this video, I believe that this is um, this redefines what's possible in TV journalism. Because let's just say that you're, you know, Obama's downstairs in the lobby, right? And your, your camera crew's a couple of miles away and somebody comes, oh, you know, he says he has he can do he has four minutes for you to do an interview. Well, what are you going to do? Your your crew, crew's far away. If you have this camera, you take it down. Obama's there and you're here, and you just put it in director's view, set it to record both things, and you put it in front, and you record your interview. And if you, you know, get a um, just like a twenty dollar uh, ADC device, which will take two mics, put it in USB, and you put that into the camera, or you put it into an external recorder you know, like this, you're going to get professional broadcast quality audio. And so, I mean, just think about that. That that was not possible uh, beforehand. Another great thing I've learned is that, and this is why I love Androids and don't like Apples. Well, first of all, Apple, I'm not even going to get into it. But so my old Note 8, obviously it doesn't work on the cellular phone network, but it still works perfectly well as a wireless Android device. So I can in fact, in one of the videos on uh, uh, Does It Matter, w which you'll see later, when I'm shooting, when you see that long shot, I just took this camera and I just turned it on and put it over there on the, on the table. And then when it's done, I just went into Google Photos and it uploaded the video. That's the other great thing about the whole Google Android thing is that you, you take a video, it uploads to the cloud. So it uploaded with this one and it uploaded with this one. And I took the three videos, I put it into Kaden, Kaden Live. I edited them, and yeah, it worked great. And by the way, I've been using Caden Live for the past couple of weeks, and I am in love. I'm going to do separate videos on that. But oh my God, I mean, it's just so funny, like coming from Adobe Premiere, like the greatest, into this open source software, which I've tried over the years, but always crashed. Well, it hasn't crashed on me yet. I mean, I've had some problems with it, but it's just like so simple, so fast, so like non-cluttered, and they design it, for the editor, where's Adobe? Everything they do now is like, buy this, buy that. It's just, oh, it drives me insane. And they don't fix these things I want. Uh, I want to rant. Again, the topic of this is the S22 Ultra. 
Now the videos you're about to see are pretty experimental. Um, so, you know, there'll be problems with the audio levels. There'll be problems probably with the video, but again, it's just for you to get the idea of my explorations with this thing, which I think truly will um, change uh, TV journalism for the better, give the kind of power into every journalist's hands that I couldn't even dream about years ago. All right, on to the videos. Well, here we are with... Oh, go ahead, sorry. Here we are at DC, so I set up the camera here. All right. It'll be between us. Okay. And, uh, and we got a 360 at my elbow. Yeah, this is to yeah. document what we're doing. DC taught me the importance of documentation. When I first met him, he was like, documentation. <laughs> Do you got to do the simple thing, the documentation. You can't go wrong. There's tons of content there. So now I'm like him. I'm like, documentation first. Worry about being a genius later. There's two microphones, so I'm going to turn them on. These are powered electro sets. <clears throat> we'll give DC a microphone. Okay. And then I'll take a microphone and just uh, take off the uh, this little thing, which oh yeah. Otherwise, they all get tangled together. You know, they don't get tangled anyway. And I'm I'm surprised you're not wearing headphones. No. Because you you're you're confident that these are going to set their own levels, kind of. Well, I'm glad you said that because I'm going to put a. Um, uh, I'm gonna have another audio recorder just to, just in case, because sometimes when you plug things into a phone like this, you know you've got nothing. Oh yeah. So I bought this ADC to USB connector. It's like twenty dollars. Oh, yeah. There's like a little chip in here. Uh huh. So the splitter goes to each lab, so they're yeah. each independent on our channel, and then this thing will go into the into the phone. Yeah. And generally, the phone will detect it. Okay. I wish it had levels on the camera app, but it doesn't. And then, as DC pointed out, <coughs> um, and this thing, oh, it's a Radio Shack. Yeah, this is Wait, old. wait, is Radio Shack still making no, things? No, no, these are all. Oh, wow. <coughs> and they, they make similar ones, but they don't make that, that model, which is too bad, because I, I see on on YouTube people talking about, like, I'm still using them, I love these things, you know, which they still made them, and anyway, so we're gonna have our backup audio right here. Okay. Here's the, uh, What's that? The little digital recorder? Yes, it's a yeah. little Sony. I got this used for $55. Oh, wow. And so I'm just going to start recording. Well, yeah, I'll just start recording now because I might okay. forget. And we'll just put that right there. Wow, this is such a compact little now we're gonna electronic turn news gathering. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, what I was explaining. Well, let me, actually, let me start to uh, save the good stuff for here. Yeah, I guess in some ways, like, it felt, it, it was, in some ways, other ways, but, like, like Wow, everything is just ten sizes smaller than it was just five years ago. Yeah. Oops. Okay, now I'm just framing DC. Okay. <coughs> and how about you? Are you in there? I'm hoping I'm uh, it's locked on the focus session. Just click here. So when I'm looking at, I'm looking at five lenses. Yes, yeah, so you want to be looking at this lens over here, but you can just look oh, at right. me above the yeah. camera. But it's interesting that well. there's five of them. <coughs> yeah, yeah. You, you only get one. Well, actually, let me see which one I want to pick for you for. So, well, actually, I'll change it from. I'm gonna start with. Oh, you can pick your. Yeah. yeah. So, so now, now I'm, I'm looking at the far right, or yes. Huh. So wow. I'm here with DC. We're testing out the uh, the lav cameras going into the ADC USB straight into the camera. They're both powered lavs, so I'm hoping we're going to get you know broadcast quality audio. Okay. Um, but we have our little backup camera, which DC reminded me about, just in case. Okay. And we also have the uh, Insta360, which the reason I'm going away from that is it just shuts off after five or six minutes. But oh it's yeah. Chilly yeah. out here, so it's still going. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. If you, if it if it actually took the temperature, it would go forever, probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay, good. And we're on the Android system. Yeah. All right. And DC used to work for the Globe. In fact, uh, when he was there, they were just starting into this digital phone stuff. And I was saying, if you had that, this then. Oh, yeah. Right, you wouldn't need a cameraman and oh, all yeah. this creative stuff. And oh, yeah. We had, what was the, uh, what were those portable cameras? They were like one-trick ponies that someone came out. They were called like Zips or something like that and you could, or snaps or something, and they were just like a, a single 
uh, camera thing. They were kind of like something that like Spotify would come out with. And uh, we used to take those out and, and shoot with them. Yeah, if say. you had this before and you wanted to interview somebody oh, yeah. about makerspaces, you just put the camera up like this. Yeah. I would be you, you'd be me. Yeah. And then I could, you could go in and if you want to get like a, if you really feel that it's saying something important, you could just do like a zoom in. Oh, huh. Like that. Well, it didn't, I guess my hands are cold. There we yeah. go. So like a zoom in on to, on to get you admitting to the murder. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you know, but yeah, this is amazing. I mean, I, when I see this little bag, and I think yeah. of it how all, it all goes in this oh, little fanny pack. How much sherpaing you had to do either. in the old in the old days? You know, like you'd always have you'd always have like an SUV, and you'd be lugging in and lugging out stuff, and uh, you know the tripods, the lights. Yeah, yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, we amazing. can put a little light on here. I mean, for oh yeah, future. that's right. You probably even do have a light. But let's uh, let's not do. I don't want to do another test. Let's just uh, show the difference between the labs and do the you know the rain in Spain falls mainly in the plane. Okay, the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this to start again without this without the the labs. Okay. Okay, testing. Yeah. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with some sample footage. Uh, the S22 Pro is in the middle. It's in director mode, and the video is set to record both cameras to the rear, which is me and Craig, who's on the front, there. Replaced your name with a new name. Um, so Max doesn't really mean anything. But we can talk about lots of other things. Yes, I mean, I, I noticed that generally whenever anybody wants to do something, they'll put like safety at the end of it. Or <laughs> <laughs> Garden street safety improvements. All right, well, this is my Samsung S22 Ultra whatever. I put a little extra gaffer's tape on here just to improve the grip, even though it has one of those little cases. So if you want to shoot with both cameras with your S22 or similar, we can go into the camera app here and it works with the native camera app. And we're going to want to hear, see the more, my fingers pointing more. So we're going to click into more. And then director's view, see where my fingers pointing? We're going to want to click on director's view. Now these are the three uh, lenses essentially in the front of the camera. So if I turn this around, this is a wide angle. This is a medium shot. You can see it's shooting the noise thing. And then this is a telephoto. We'll go back to, well, when I did the uh, video with Craig the, just today, I used the, the medium shot here. Now to make sure you're getting both cameras, there's a button over here at the top middle. If you press on it, see it says save video as previewed. That means now when it saves a video, it's going to save exactly as you see it, both the, the big shot and this director's view of me talking right here. We don't want that. So if we, this is a toggle essentially. So if we press this again, it says save front and rear as separate 16 9 videos. And that's what we want. So when we start recording this, it will uh, actually record two files. One, a 69 of what we see in the box and one a 69 here full resolution of both though so the resolution on the selfie camera isn't as good as the other one I, I believe anyway that's how you uh, shoot uh, with both cameras at the same time on the Samsung S22 which is extremely useful if you're doing a video I mean sorry an interview with someone all right before I go into the audio processing or what I did for the audio, um, I need to show you the equipment I used. And I used an Olympus um, DM720, uh, which actually, it, it, I, there's a lab mic that from somebody on Craigslist I wanted to buy and I bought it. I didn't care about this, <laughs> but anyway, I took it out and I started using it. It works really well, has a stereo input. Um, it's very easy to just you know, plug it into the computer and download the file. So yeah, really loving this and it has three mics on the top. So anyway, if you see one of these used, I uh, highly recommend it. And then for mics, I'm using two old Radio, Sh Radio Shack uh, electric, electric set, I think, um, 
condenser microphones that are powered by the little batteries in here. Now, normally I don't like um, uh, things that with on and off switch with batteries because I forget and then the battery runs out. But I, I've been pretty good lately about making sure I have both of these off. Anyway, you need to turn them on or they don't work. Um, and then each mic is going into a splitter that looks like this. These are sort of hard to find. You just want to look for a mono-to-mono -mono TRS into a uh, TRS or TRS. Anyway, the stereo uh, male. And so stereo male will go into a stereo recorder. you got to make sure that that's true because some of these are mono. They only take a mono mic. So I plug this. And now each uh, lavalier mic will go into one channel. Now, I want to point out, you probably won't use the same mics because this probably isn't the healthiest thing because... It's really going to just do the gain for both mics equally. It thinks it's only getting one stereo mic in a sense, so something to be careful about. But anyway, I'm using the same mic, and, and all the other thing is I'm going to have to. I'll go into this. I'm going to have to split the uh, the audio, the stereo, and the I mean, sorry, the left and the right into separate audio tracks, so I can change the gain or the effects on each voice. So um, if generally in the past, so far, like I've needed to raise my voice a bit. Uh, to match Craig's voice as, as he'll come through. Now in the future, I bought a, um, hopefully this will work well, this uh, USB to, um, to stereo adapter for the uh, Samsung, so I can just plug the mics directly into the Samsung, and then I'll only just put this on the table and use this as a backup, you know, just with its own native microphones. And this is an ADC, analog to digital converter, so you plug in, I can plug in the stereo mics here, and then it'll go in as a digital feed into the camera, into the phone here. Hopefully that will work uh, as expected. So anyway, on to how I now process the audio I get from the uh, external recorder in Caden Live. All right. Well, before we can use the uh, audio that we captured from the labs going into the uh, Olympus, uh, which is on left and right channel, we want to split them out so then Canon Live we can adjust the volume for each uh, track uh, separately. It's difficult to do this with each channel in a track. So we're going to use Shutter Encoder, which I love. It's just a Swiss Army knife for all kinds of video and audio uh, things you might want to do. So I'm going to drag the WAV file from the Olympus over here. And I'm going to choose the function of sound conversion to WAV. Even though it's not really going to convert, it's going to split. And I'm going to select separate audio tracks to mono. So now when I try and run this conversion, it's going to say, do you want to overwrite the file? No, I just want two different files. So I'm going to say no to all. And it's going to create these two separate files, one's for the left, one's for the right. But it's mono, or in a sense, the left and right have this equal one thing, and same for here. So close out of shutter. And now let's open up our project. I'm going to go back to uh, the audio here. And again, we're not going to bring the original. We're going to bring the two, the two tracks. And if we drag these tracks down into our timeline, so I don't know whether this is me or, or uh, Craig, but it doesn't really make a difference. Let's try and into a video. So you can see here one is um, uh, one is louder than the other. So if I just mute this and play it. Do nothing but bike in Cambridge and these bike lanes are horribly dangerous. Independent of that though they have That's a problem. most likely me. So if we now play it, we unmute this and we play this track, you'll probably hear him but it'd be through my mic. I, I, I... So he, he's very low, he's very low, so you're so hearing him through his mic. Independent of that. So this allows us to change, uh, to work with each track separately. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I have, this is the audio from the camera, and these are the two tracks from the Olympus, and I want to synchronize them. What I'm going to do is look for the, uh, because I start each device separately, I want to look for where I source to start my content, and I've found it up here. Hi, this is Max Rotter. So, I know I'm not going to need anything before hi. So, I'm going to take this clip, um, which is my 
uh, lav clips which have grouped so it's easy for me to pull it down and now I need to find where I start here on the um, sort of mute the I don't need to mute but unmute these and find out where this is in the camera clips <sighs> hi this is Max Ron okay so it's basically right there so um, I should have uh, I should group these Now I can just take this and pull this down to around here. And now I know that's very close to here. Um, I'm going to unmute all these. And now over here on the right, I'm just going to expand it. Well, actually, let me just bring everything to the beginning of the timeline. So now I'm going to expand. Well, let me bring the uh, playhead all the way to the, back to the timeline. So I'm going to expand things quite a bit. This is the audio from the two labs and this is the audio from the camera and I'm just going to move this down and this looks like it's going to be pretty good so I'm going to mute these two channels because this is from the camera I'm not going to use these and leave these channels open which is from the audio from us talking Horseman at, at does it matter and why and today we're joined by Craig Kelly again hi Craig Max how you doing so I guess so his yeah, his lips look perfectly synced. So good. So I think we're we're set here. And um, again, take you know, I used to use the wizards in Premiere a lot. <laughs> I realized it's really very easy to do this manually. And um, the wizards sometimes don't work. It's a little bit off. And th this way, I can really they can really dial it in. I can really expand it and really get it to within what I really want. So anyway, so I find that works very well. Um, I now have um, this matched up to these. This is um, these are muted, so now I can just work with the the timeline the way that I want. So now I'm going to go up to Tool, Multicam Tool, and that will allow me to see each camera. So I'll just widen this out a teeny bit. Move this to the beginning. Now I know I'm going to start, so I'm going to start the. Uh, Hi, this is Max Rottersman at, at Does It Matter and Why? And today we're joined by Craig Kelly again. Hi, Craig. Max, how are you doing? So I guess the question today is going to be, what's in a name? Everything's in a name, Max. That's why I'm calling you Max. If I started talking to George, you'd be confused until we figured out that I just... Okay, so I'm going to stop this for now. The, uh, so I want you to notice how it's made the, the clips. And... I can actually look at this now to see when I'll start talking again because this is when I get loud. See, right now Craig is loud and I loud. so I just need to look at this actually. And I can do three or four on the keyboard, I think. Three or four, right. So three is me, four is me. And now I can start playing it and just choose based on what I see here and get probably pretty close. Replaced your name with a new name. Um, so Max doesn't really mean anything, but we can talk about lots of other things that are given names so or I'm, terms I'm and they start talk. having a meeting that defines so how we look three. at them. Yes, I mean, I, I noticed that generally whenever anybody wants to do something, they'll put like safety at the end of it or <laughs> garden street <laughs> safety Craig. improvements. You put up a flyer like that on garden street and people are like, oh, great. It's going to be safer. I don't need to go to that meeting. Yeah. I mean, let's explain for our viewers uh, what we're talking Actually, let me start it. talking about here. So the the city of. But you can see I actually got this late. So um, let me just show you how easy it is to adjust the clips. So here's Craig, and here I start. But I really should be starting here. Let's just start playing this from here. I need to go to that meeting. Yeah, I mean, let's explain for our viewers uh, what we're talking about here. So the the city of Cambridge has. So I know I want to start here. So all I need to do is, actually, no, I want to start here, is take Craig, take the selection tool, move him back, and then take me and move me to where I start talking. And then uh, we'll start from here. And people are like, oh, great. It's going to be safer. I don't need to go to that meeting. Yeah, I mean, let's explain for our viewer. And there you see, I, you know, I was able to fix that edit very quickly. Now I'll go back into tool, multicam view. See, I didn't have the selection. 
And now I'm just going to continue on looking at the the timeline to figure out when I want to cut in or out. So right now I'm talking and soon I'm going to hit four, which is going to be Craig. Viewers, uh, what we're talking about here. So the, the city of Cambridge has this big bike lane program that they're putting in throughout the city. And when they need to redesign a street to put in the bike lanes, and, and I do nothing but bike, by the way. I, I... So you get the idea. So basically, um, We'll go through the video. Let me see, where do I pick up again? So I pick up here. So I'm just going to pick three. And then Craig looks like he starts talking a bunch again here. So that would be four. You see how it just puts the edit in here? And let's just go and listen to it and see if it, if it transitions Turned properly. It a safety improvement. And we see that with other things too. Yeah, I mean, with so I felt like okay, I could have added, I could have began a little bit sooner. So I'm going to the selection tool. I'm just going to drag me down just a bit. I'm going to go pull me there. Go back into the time. Go back into the tool. And pick the multicam tool again, and I keep going. Garden Street. I so I've already picked I, here in, in Harvard Square. Often I'll take Garden Street home. See if Craig home. starts where he should start. And of course, not I, anymore. <laughs> not anymore. So like yeah. All right. It, so right here, Craig. We could have put Craig in. Let's just try and put Craig in here a bit. Oh, and of course not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. So like, yeah, and it's a wide street. I've never felt. And so now we just put that. And of course not, not anymore. anymore. <laughs> not anymore. All right. So now the problem here is that I didn't have him. I'd already edited him over here. So I need to pull that back. And, um, well, now we'll continue. <laughs> so, like, yeah, it's a wide. But we need to go now select me. So, it's really amazing to me how actually Caden Live really is dealing with this stuff and not like, you know, a crashing while I'm, do while I'm doing all this, you know, crazy realignment of clips. So, we need to start here because I want to pick me again. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, it's a wide street. I've never felt there's been any threat to bicyclists either way because. It's well, just have so you ever much. biked it? No. Okay, so who it, cares what you think? Well, well, what do you think? I mean, how I was never, it I never thought it was particularly dangerous. Right. It's, it's so there you see. I mean, it's it, Kane Live is really making it easy. It's easy to make you know one person longer and shorter by just you know going into selection mode and moving them around. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty. And you don't actually have to listen to the whole thing. Like I said, you can just you know scroll through this and look for the changes and waveform. You know, like here, like this is really quick, and I just wanted to, to do this. I would just go here, uh, tools, multicam, and I'm just going to hit me. And I'm now going to, it looks like Craig just starts talking a lot here. Craig, and there, you can, you can multicam edit this stuff very quickly. Hi. Well, let's just say that I'm planning on going to a grocery store to check on the shelves. What's the stocks like post-pandemic? So um, I come out. I'm going to put this little um, lavalier mic on my on my body so I can get some secondary audio that's broadcast quality. <laughs> and right now I'm shooting in director's view so you can see what I'm looking at and you can see me. All right. On to our adventure as I put on the lavalier mic. Okay. Well, Probably in the car you can hear it's a little bit echoey, so I'm going to turn on my little Sony. Uh, I bought this used for $55, and I'm just going to hit record. And uh, do I see myself hear myself recording? Yeah, I can hear myself recording. So I can just put that on my lap, and in the I will now switch from the camera audio to the lavalier audio. So I have the lavalier. I put the lavalier under my sweater and because it has a wind muff, I don't believe it's going to hear the rustle of my sweater, which is an issue with uh, lavalier mics. Uh, so it's early in the morning. This is the best time to go to Market Basket. Otherwise, Market Basket is usually hugely crowded. It's the least expensive grocery store in the area 
it's not just like least expensive by like 5%. It's like, uh, let me see, how much cheaper is it? Yeah, it's closer to like 20% on many, many items. So for instance, my mom's cookies that she likes, Pims, we'll look for those. So Pims at the local Shaw's are often like $4.50. And at Market Basket, they'll be $3.80. But there are even bigger differences than that. Okay, so all right. Well, well, we'll uh, I'll see you at the supermarket. I started the camera in portrait mode, and that obviously is a big mistake because even when I flipped the camera to the proper landscape mode, it didn't flip. So, note to self: always make sure when you start the recording, start in the landscape mode. If I can go into zoom mode on my phone while I'm talking. So look at that. I have it stopped. I'm into zoom mode. And we'll go back into wide angle mode. And I'll start walking down to the, uh, walking down to go into Market Basket, the shop, to check the, uh, how many pims they have for my mom. My mom's very old. It's one of the few cookies she can eat because it's soft enough. Uh, Anyway, part of my little journalism report here to show off the Samsung S22 camera in director's mode where it shoots both cameras at the same time. Well, here they are, the Pims. But they only have the orange flavor. And it's not really deep here. See, it's really, normally they go back to the wall and they have the raspberry, which my mom really likes. She doesn't really like these that much. Hi. Yeah, disaster in IL-17. Hey. But there you go. Yeah. Now the good thing about Market Basket here, see, well, Market Basket employee, thing. he just left. But they, I don't, they don't care if you film in here, which I don't think they care. So anyway, this is my PIMS report. They think with Brexit, with Britain, they'd want to sell as many of these as possible. But they can't. They can't get them here. Can't get the raspberries.